Hey, Chris, I told you they could do it. I knew it, I told you. Oh. They could do it through the night. Well, well They've done. They've done it. <laughs> <laughs> done that bit. Well done, everyone. Cooper, convincing Aga that Christmas is brilliant. You've done well. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Make up the... Make up the fires and buy another coal scuttle and dot them eyes, Kathleen. Oh, so help me. I will take your whole punch away and okay. report you to the middle man. I've got it, won't I? I'm not having it. now, but something's never changed. He still can't read his lines. Now is the moment we've all been waiting for, big Kath. It's time to find out the answer to the deep question. What is the best school subject? I told you never to call me big Kath. Give me the envelope. Drum roll, please. It's already started. It's already on, whatever. Oh, I'll be honest, I don't actually know. Kathleen, you're of no value to me. <laughs> you're just going to have to watch a brand new episode. It's on in mere moments, so don't worry about that, OK? Oh, oh, dinner whoa. bell there. Listen, did you what? hear that then? <laughs> yes. Dinner bell there. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. What no, does that, that mean? mean? You know what that means, don't you, Kathleen? What? Time to look at, at the window, <laughs> at the window box, and chuck some cress in them. No, it isn't, Cockers, no. It's time to sing a little old song about dinner images. Cos we're going to look at some food images. Cos I'm eye-hungry. <laughs> Kathleen's eye-hungry. I am. So send in your dinner pics of your plates from above to this address. Yes, give us a minute. I'll read it out. No, I'll sing oh, okay. it. OK. CBBC <laughs> at BBC dot co dot U. K, take it from above, send it in, and we'll look at it and talk about it, yeah. Don't go anywhere. We've got dragons coming up next for you. Don't forget the Blue Peter still want you to send in your memories of Barney Arwood oh. and your messages for him yeah. uh, before his last show in September. Oh. <laughs> I've got a great memory of Barney. Have you? Yeah. When he announced he was leaving, Blue Peter. <laughs> no, That's I know. Not very... That was a joke. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Send... <laughs> you mustn't. Now, listen, send in your, your messages for Barney Howard to Blue Peter, Media City UK, Salford... <laughs> oh, come on. Salford M50, 2BH. Let's read out our commitment, shall we? Edward says, what's... <laughs> <laughs> Once I saw someone dressed like Santa walking around and I tried to prove to my sister that it wasn't the real Santa. So I pulled on his beard, but it was a real beard. It might have been the real Santa. Kathleen, <laughs> earlier I pulled on someone's beard and look. <laughs> we'll pass us that piece of paper down there oh, on yeah. the coffee table because... There you go. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a hard count. <laughs> Kathleen. Because you guys are sending your summer designs. Look. Oh, look, look. This, this one's sent by Monty, and he's given you a star on your mail, and he also has <laughs> round shoes. Go to CBC HQ page to send some more in. Here's Arthur. Sorry. This one here has been sent in by Madeline, and this is so brilliant because Madeline has drawn Karim and Dodge in a rocket going to space. Not only any old space, Kathleen, they're going to Candy Planet, and look there, that star there is weeping colours. <laughs> It's weeping a rainbow, Kathleen, as I do, of a weekend. <laughs> it's a brilliant drawing, thank Isn't you. It? And it's, it's a nice heavy stock, which oh, is nice, but you Kate betcha. is all claws. You betcha. <laughs> Look at that one. This one's presented by Frankie, and this is sort of like a worst witch CBBC HQ amalgamation. I love it. Look, I've got a cauldron, yes. and Lauren's doing a magic spell, and Karim's flying up into the air. And look down there, it's me old mate Bling Blom. <laughs> He's having a lovely time of it, Plim Plum, there. And there's me on me <laughs> magic walking broom thing, so I can clean up the corridors of power whilst flying about like a witch. <laughs> now, Kathleen, I know you're having a funny turn, so I'll do this bit, and your accent's to a little address, bit broad. To the address. Please send in your fantastic <sighs> drawings and our art to this lovely address, CBBC HQ, PO Box 999. <laughs> <laughs> Suffered at 5 0 DP. Now, Kathleen, let us take your weeping gold eyes over to the randomizer. Activate. <laughs> Have you always been that small? Yeah. I hope you enjoyed So Awkward. Do not go anywhere because we've got loads of great shows on the way, like Brandy Jean Events on Call. <laughs> Well, what is going to happen now that Grandad has revealed their location? Now they know that it's Grandad. Oh, Kathleen, gosh. I think they might tinker with his pension. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think they are going to tinker with his they pension. They might. Oh, 
<laughs> we'll find out very soon what happens. Some brand new world blood. It's on in mere moments. And to top it all, it's Dark Moon Day. No, no, no. <laughs> I think you'll find it's pronounced <laughs> Monday. <laughs> Thanks, Freddie. That's an MC for you the whole. Um, do keep your house coming in. I can tell them out. Do I have to? Yeah. Yes. Now, listen. Where is it? Oh, no. Listen. Send your house in to the CBBC. I know the CBBC <laughs> HQ page on the website. Upload them there. They could be dead good. We'd like that. Oh, my God. That's pension. Are the Nectons embroiled in a perilous adventure in the deep next, Kathleen? No, they're not, actually. They've got a pretty average day on. Oh. Yeah, Will's going to do Big Shop. Um, Ant's going to be um, relaxing the boiler. <laughs> and Fontaine is just, like, taking his card out garage. For Brilliant. Some... Boiler should have been third. But, Kathleen, <laughs> that is lovely work. <laughs> oh, just carry on. Is it true? Is it true or not, Katie? No, it's not true. <laughs> There's a it's tunnel and a waterfall. Just watch it. Now, do you want to see some dragon drawings, Katie? You've ruined this for me. Look at this. Look at that. No, I can't. OK. <laughs> Ava's selling this dragon. <laughs> Look. Katie, it's show it. Oh, I need to put myself together. <sighs> right, this is a dragon selling by Ava. It's red. It's good, isn't it? Katie, show it's Nemo. Oh, it's got water on the knee, Katie. <laughs> Have you wept onto it? <laughs> Ava, it's brilliant. Thanks for sending that in. I'm going to stick it on the wall. Oh, Kathleen. Oh, no, it's hideous, that tree, Kate. <laughs> Is it? It's hideous. It's now a patch on my fantastic festive Christmas pine. Really? That is neath my pink shroud. Shall I reveal Festival it? Festival time with your good arm. Reveal that tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, please. Da, 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 da. Look, 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 look. Straighten up. Hey. Legendary character at the top. Do you like it? No, I prefer this one. To the spines are brown to denote <laughs> uh, woe. There's a broken bauble there. It's got tin foil on it. I don't like And that. even That's better at the top is my festive chum. Handy McGlovely. I don't really like it, Hacker. It's disgusting. For a start, you've got tin foil instead of tinsel. Well, you've got was... this strange washing detergent dis dispenser ball thing. Give me clean shirts. And who is this guy? That is the festive hero and Christmas chum, Handy McGlovely. Right. He's up there offering his five fingered knowledge and pa hurling nugget at passing foxes. Yes, he sits atop my tree, scowling at passers-by. He's no star, is he, though? Let's be honest. He's got a he's, good name, do not he? You should have a star at the top of your tree, Hacker. Here's a star to me. He once told me the tale of his missing <laughs> glove. I don't like him. I don't like him, all right? We're not having him. You don't know what it's like to be a glove at Christmas, this or I don't, funnily enough, but we're still not having him. You all right there? Yeah. Put it down. Oh, I've knocked my cup down. Um, listen, now, I really want to see some burnt teas and some shameful plates. <laughs> Tracy Vicky Returns is on now. <laughs> Libby, <laughs> who put the washing machine on for the first time, she says, I know it's so stupid, but I like it. Whoops, I better spin. Whoops, in at number two. Whoops. <laughs> Stop it, please. Serena, who managed to be on the piece. On her plates! On her plates! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> but I was back mission on the monitor there. Listen now. In a, <laughs> <laughs> in a number one, it was my ankle. In a one, it's, it's Madeline. <laughs> Madeline! <laughs> Who managed to watch TV we see for most of the day? Oh, my God. Uh, baby brother turning the TV off. Usually he does it at least 20 times a day. Oh, thank you very much, everyone, for sending in all of your tiny achievements. You're oh, right. No. Is your chin OK? I bung me ankle. Move on. Dog's actions. This is why I usually do the business. Yeah, I know. I just do a different sort of business. <laughs> oh, Thistleton. <laughs> I've totally forgotten about how clammy he is and how clingy. He is really clingy, isn't he? <laughs> he is, isn't he? Do me a favour. He's making me laugh with rage. Get rid of him. He's been sent in by my chum and yours. Um, yes. <laughs> Faye... Oh, Hacker. Faye, Denise and Ivor. I think it's... Faye, Zet, Neve and Ivor have set in this fantastic picture of the beach. Oh, 
dear. OK, come back to me. Fraser, Neve and Isla have sent in that sandcastle. Let's have a look at the next one. Thanks, guys. This one is lovely as well. It's been set in by Owen and Riley. It, Ernie and Riley. There's some lovely grey sand. And there's a, a castle. Get back to Katie. I'm very sorry. I can only apologise for Haggerty Dog. He's not very good for names. This next one is sent to by Anna. Let's have a look at it. This one has been sent by Anna and by Joe. It's a face. There's the mouth. There's a moustache, nose and eyes and cheeks. 